everyone. Welcome back to Uncorked. My name's Bobby. I'm your host. And today we're going to be trying a few wines from Dry Creek Vineyard out of um, Dry Creek Valley in California. So we have three wines right here. We have their Sauvignon Blanc, the Zinfandel, and then their Cabernet Sauvignon. So this winery was founded by David Stair, who loved French wines. He did a lot of traveling in the Loire Valley of France. And he was the first person in Dry Creek Valley to plant Sauvignon Blanc in 1972, so 50 years ago. So this is kind of their um, flagship wine. They absolutely do amazing things with Sauvignon Blanc. They have two different styles. They have the Fumé Blanc, which is the one that they do more in a French style. And then they have this Sauvignon Blanc we're going to be tasting today, which is done to um, really showcase how great California and the soils are over there. So this one to me is everything you want in old world minerality, old world meaning mainly Europe, and new world fruit. So um, new world being everything else outside of Europe. So you get all that nice passion fruit, guava, but then you get this nice minerality. Um, so this is a great wine if you are just going to the store and need something easy to pick up. And maybe you're one of those people that doesn't really like Sauvignon Blanc. Um, this is a really great one because it's kind of like the best of both. So it's not going to be super pungent. It's easy to drink and it's going to go great with a lot of different food dishes. So now on to the Zinfandel. This is um, their Old Vine Zinfandel. David Stair was also the first person to coin the term Old Vine in Dry Creek Valley. One of the things I love about Zinfandel is that because the bunches don't ripen all at once, you get some berries that are fully ripe and you get some that are underripe. So you have these really great fruit notes of red fruit characteristics like um, red cherry, cranberry, then you get blackberry, so fully ripe berries, and then you get blueberries. So if you're ever tasting a wine and you're blinding it and you think, it's got varying levels of ripeness between red fruits and black fruits. It's going to usually be a Zinfandel um, just because they don't ripen all at once, which is really neat. But this wine has a really great acid. It's made really well. And um, you can pair this with a lot of different dishes like barbecue. So now on to the next one. This is going to be the Cabernet Sauvignon, which is probably almost everybody's favorite red wine. So this one, they've been growing for about 50 years. These specific vines in this wine are 12 to 20 years old. So it's gonna have more concentrated fruit flavor. They also age it in oak. So you're gonna get lots of like toasted notes, caramel, vanilla, spice, nutmeg. And it's gonna go really, really great with a ribeye because ribeye has a little bit more fat. Also, this is not 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, to be from California, you only have to be 75%. So they do blend in Malbec, Petit Verdot, and a little bit of Cab Franc just to give it a little bit more texture and body. Um, and some extra like little flavors. The Malbec gives it this nice like cocoa chocolate note. Um, so yeah, if the next time you're at the store and you want to find a very affordable wine, try these wines from Dry Creek Vineyard. They are um, doing really great things in California. As I said, they've really pioneered the region. Um, David Stair, however, is no longer really with the winery, but his children, Kim and Don, have taken over his legacy, and the wines are still just absolutely amazing. So give them a try. They're great. Thank y'all so much. I'll see y'all next time.